Let's now speak briefly about stochastic games. This is a topic that uh, lends itself to a very long discussion and a, a, quite a complicated one, but um, we'll touch on the, the main points um, and position it in the uh, landscape of topics we're discussing. And so the starting, the starting point are repeated games. Uh, as we know, a repeated game is simply a game uh, in normal form, for example, that we repeat over and over again. For example, we um, play uh, Prisoner's Dilemma uh, once, twice, three times, maybe a finite time, maybe an infinite number of times, and we accumulate all the rewards all the time to some overall rewards. A stochastic game is a generalization of it where we play games repeatedly, but not necessarily the same game. So we play a game, um, depending on how we played that game, let's say Prisoner's Dilemma, we each got some payoff. But depending on how we play the game, we also probab probabilistically transition to some other game. Play that in turn, and the, the, and, and the process continues. A uh, graphical way to look at it is here. If, if, if this here is a, is a repeated game, where you play the same game over and over again, here you play the game, uh, and then if you uh, happen to play this, you'll transition to this game. If you happen to this, uh, play this, you'll maybe transition to the same game. If you play this, you tra you'll transition here. If you play this, maybe you'll play this game again. And so on, from each game you transition probabilistically to, uh, to, to other games. Uh, this is a stochastic game. Uh, formally speaking, it's, uh, it's, it's the following tuple. It's a lot of notation, but the concept is exactly what we, we saw. We have a, a finite set of states, Q. We have a set of players. Uh, we have a set of actions where uh, uh, actions are available to, uh, to, to, to specific players. So A sub I is the action available to player I. And then we have uh, two, uh, two functions. We have the transition probability function. So that depending on the state we're in and on the actions we took, we move to each of any of the other states or the, the very same state with a certain probability as governed by this probability distribution. And, um, and similarly, uh, reward is the uh, reward function, which uh, tells us if in a certain state a certain action profile was taken by the agents, then this is a reward to uh, to that particular agent, uh, to, to each of the agents. So R sub i is a reward to uh, to agent i. Uh, that's the formal definition. Uh, notice that it sort of assumes implicitly that you have the same action spaces here, um, uh, but uh, you, you could uh, define it otherwise, it simply would involve more notation and nothing inherently important about the action spaces being the same in the different games within the stochastic game. So just a few final comments on it. First of all, uh, as, we, uh, as we saw, this obviously gener generalizes the notion of a repeated game, but it also generalizes the notion of an MDP or a Markov decision process. If a if a stochastic game if a repeated game is a stochastic game with only one game, a Markov decision process or an MDP is a game with only one player. And so you have states there uh, that where the agents take agent takes an action, receives a immediate reward, and probabilistically moves to some other uh, state. And the only difference is uh, that he's the only actor in the setting. Uh, I mention this because, uh, well, MDPs have been studied uh, substantially in a variety of disciplines, from optimization to computer science to pure math uh, and beyond. But also these two perspectives of a generalization of repeated games and of MDPs give you a sense for the theory and investigations into stochastic games. So from repeated games, we inherit the definitions of different ways of aggregating rewards over time. You can have um, uh, limited average rewards, 
future discounted rewards. Uh, whereas from the uh, the literature on uh, optimization and on uh, MDPs, we get uh, notions such as stationarity uh, and um, Markovian strategies. These have to do with, we also have notions of reachability about the structure of the underlying transition probability. And so again, these are issues that are involved that we won't get to into more in this uh, lecture, but uh, at least we flagged uh, their existence.